Coming to you live from the Cooking Up Fraction Studios, it's Cooking Up Fractions. With your host, Chef Jay, and Master Chef Souffle. Now here's your host with a buttered toast, adding and subtracting those fractions, Chef Jay. Welcome to Cooking Up Fractions, the show that mixes cool math with great food. Today's show is all about adding and subtracting fractions. I'm your host, Chef Jay, and this is my co-host, Master Chef Souffle. Oh, thank you, Chef Jay. Perhaps I did a bit of hell. <laughs> Merci. What's going on, Souffle? Oh, sorry. I was just practicing for today's special recipe. Right here in this very kitchen, we'll be using our fraction skills to make veggie pizza. <laughs> and to help, we have a special guest. Please welcome Carlos. Oh, hey. Good to see you, Carlos. Thanks for coming back. Yes. Let's look at today's recipe and see what we need. Ah, très bien. This recipe has many fractions. Fractions are very helpful whether you're making a pizza or building an airplane. It's true. Souffle, how about giving our viewers a scoop on fractions while we go slice some veggies for the pizza? A fraction is part of a whole. It has two parts. The top, which is called the numerator and the bottom, which is called the denominator. For example, one part of this measuring cup is filled with tomato sauce. One is our numerator. There are three equal parts in all. Three is our denominator. So we say one third of the cup is filled with tomato sauce. If two of the three parts were filled, we would have two-thirds cup. If all three parts were filled, we would have three-thirds, or one whole cup. Let's look at a few more fractions. One out of two is one half. Three out of five is three-fifths. One out of four is one-fourth. We can find fractions everywhere. Take a look. Two peppers are yellow. There are six peppers in all. Two-sixths of the peppers are yellow. 